I've seen a lot of confusion regarding flat attack, attack percent, and damage percent on the new gear. It's common knowledge that damage percent is superior to attack percent, but that's only on a one-to-one -one scale, and stat lines do not come equal. In order to find out what's actually better, we need to quickly go over the basics. Attack percent values check additively with one another. If you have 10,000 attack and gain a 10% attack buff, you now have 11,000 attack, a 10% increase from the start. However, if you gain another 10% attack buff on top of it, you're now at 12,000 attack, which is still a 20% increase from the start, but only a 12,000 out of 11,000 or 9.09% increase from the previous state. This is what people refer to as diminishing returns. Damage percent values, for the most part, stack multiplicatively with one another. That is, if you hit a mob for 10,000 damage and gain a 10% damage buff, you're doing 11,000 damage. If you have two 10% damage buffs, your 11,000 is again multiplied by 1.1 for 12,100 total, which is a 21% increase from the start. This compounding power is what makes damage percent buffs favorable. To summarize, when talking about the relative gain for damage percent, you will be receiving the stated value of each damage buff at each step, versus attack percent, where each increase is guaranteed to be equal to or less than the stated value. On the new barrier gear, Notable lines of damage increasing stats include flat attack, elemental attack, percent elemental attack, and percent elemental damage. For visors, there's also final crit percent. Let's start with damage versus attack percent. Each roll of damage percent only goes up to 0.72%, while attack percent goes up to 1.44% per roll. Because attack percent is twice as high, you'll need a 100% attack buff before damage percent is better than attack percent. With resonance, you have 15% attack, and then depending on your team comp, you might have more attack buffs laying around. As you can see, there is kind of a stretch to push your total attack buffs over 100%. As of right now, You'd have to be an A6 Frost player with a dedicated support main following you with Coco Trade buff spam and a 4 piece Coco Matrix to push over 100%. And for any other comp, you likely aren't even getting close to 100% attack buff, even after party buffs. As such, attack percent is favorable over damage percent on stat lines unless Global gets much more attack percent buffing units or equipment. What about flat attack versus attack percent? This is pretty easy to calculate. We just need to find the breakpoint for how much attack you need before the flat attack value equals 1.44% of that attack. Here's a quick table for various flat attack rolls and how much base attack you need before the attack percent is worth more. Finally, we have crit percent. If you don't have any additional sources of crit damage, Every 1% crit chance is worth 0.5% damage, so the 1.19% crit is worth about 0.6% damage, even less than the percent elemental damage. If you have a crow matrix, the value is increased by up to around 0.252 on average, making crit percent slightly more valuable than damage, but still paling in comparison to attack percent and flat attack in most cases. When compared at a 1 to 1 value, damage percent is stronger than attack percent in any situation where you have any attack percent buffs to begin with. However, because attack percent has twice as high of a value on gear, it's more powerful than damage percent to roll on, barring some extreme situations. And depending on how much attack you already have, flat attack lines may be worth even more than attack percent. Hope this explanation video was helpful, and sorry for not putting on any videos this last week. I've been very busy working on my cooldown tracking overlay, which I've just released a beta for. 
It's open source, but still in the very early testing phases. So I want to polish it more before I make any big announcements for the release. If you're interested in helping to test, please join my Discord, link in the description. See you guys next time!